Hi, welcome back. We're gonna add our B section today. So you can see that my A section is uh, pretty much complete. I can always edit it if I want, but we're gonna add a B section. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the plus at the top of corner on the right hand side. And it says section A, eight bars. What you're gonna press is add. So press the add button and it adds a B section. There it is. Once you've done that, you can press anywhere off touch anywhere off of that menu and it will create that B section so now you have a B section we are going to add a new instrument so what you're going to do is tap in the upper left hand corner on the add instrument menu when you add the instrument you're going to go to the drums but not the smart drums we're going to use beat sequencer this is going to be a lot of fun and a lot of different things that you can do to it so you're gonna see this interface. On the bottom left corner, you see Modern 808. What you're gonna do is tap that and choose your kit. So we have a whole bunch of different ones under electronic, and we also have um, percussion and acoustic. So under acoustic, you're gonna see four different kits. And then under percussion, we're gonna see Chinese. So let's choose Chinese kit to see if that's something that you'd like. So we roll the die and that's what comes up. And we can change things as you want. And what you can do is just tap on each of those little squares to turn them on or off and change it as you wish. As you're changing it, you're hearing the changes that are being made. And when you roll the die, it changes that as well. So you can try out different things just to hear what you might like. Tap the waffle and on the waffle, you're gonna see different patterns. All these different patterns have just different ways of doing it, and they're really fun to just te test out. Look at the back and forth. It goes across, and then it goes across and back. So they're just really interesting ways that this is gonna work. So if you try wave, this is what wave does. And let's try chance. The chance beat just, just goes anywhere, just so random. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find which kit you wanna try, and I'm gonna try the electronic, and I'm gonna use the this one, and um, I'm gonna change the pattern to something else. You'll see at the top, there's two different patterns, and what you can do is you tap the first pattern just underneath the timeline or the second pattern, and each one is different. You can adjust each of those as you're going along. So go ahead and change some things. Fill in these, uh, swipe it, you can go all the way across and back and you can listen to it. Once you're listening to it, then you can say, oh, I like that or I don't like that. And just keep working on it, changing it. If you hit the die when you're, after you change something, changes what you've done. So what you, whatever you've done has not been saved. So what you're gonna do is just listen to it as you're doing it and see if that's something that you like. So now I'm gonna to touch the waffle again and choose other ones. And there's ones that have four. I'm choosing this one that has four different ones, four different patterns. So what you do is select one pattern, change it, select the next one, change it, select the next one, change it, and then you have what you want. And you can swipe all the way across, you can swipe up and down, you can swipe diagonally. Any way that you can turn these buttons on and off is fair game. Okay, when you're ready, you make sure you record it. Once you're done, you're gonna head on over to the track menu just to see what you've got. So if I look at that, there's nothing from the other instruments and it's just what I just did on Trapdoor. So if I wanna see all of it, I tap the plus and go to all sections and I can see my A section and my B section. So my A section looks very different from my B section, but I'm gonna go back to my B section and what I'm gonna do is add another instrument. So cl click on the B section and then click off of that menu. And then I go to add instrument. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the world instrument and add the PIPA, P 
people, I don't know what you, how do you say it? And I want to record something to be added to my first track. Once I've done that, I'm going to go back to the track menu. So now I'm back in the track menu. And what I want to do is I want to adjust the sound of it, the volume of the Pippa, so I can hear it just a little bit better. And there I go. That's a little bit better. And once you've got it to where you like it or you want to add more instruments, go ahead. Then you go back to the plus sign at the top and you want to see all sections. So now I'm going to listen to it and see how I like it. I'm going to turn that one instrument up so I can hear it a little bit better. And there's my B section. It sounds very different from my A section and that's what it's supposed to sound. Now, as I'm listening, I decided that I wanted to add some more, something else. I'm gonna split this right here. I'm gonna tap on that second segment, copy it, and then I'm gonna put the playhead where I wanna copy it and tap that, zone, that area, paste it, and then paste it again. And then I'm gonna do that all over here as well because I think that's gonna sound kinda cool. And once I'm done, I'm gonna play it so that I can hear what I've just created. So what you can do is you can play around with that. You can add more instruments, but you now have created a B section. So go ahead and create your B section. Have fun and add a few instruments or one or two. 